It's an addiction. Nah, that's a bit far-fetched. A hobby? Nah. A way of life? Huh, I don't think so. Social media is everywhere. It's literally at our fingertips. With 95% of teenagers around the world signed up to social media sites such as Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat. Facebook, as of 2013, was by far the most used social media site with majority of teens having over 400 friends. However, this is no longer the case, with 51% of teens aged 13 to 17 said they use Facebook notably lower than they do YouTube, Instagram, or Snapchat. It is incredible how many hours of each day is spent staring down at your Facebook profile or snapping pictures of yourself to your friends. On any given day, teens spend an average of 10 hours on their mobile devices. Nine out of these 10 hours are spent on social media sites. But let's put these nine hours into context for a second. Nine hours is typically more time than teens would spend sleeping, and more times than they would spend with parents or at school. When does it become too much? Is it already too much? At what time will social media take over a teen's entire day? But it isn't just teenagers that are consumers of social media sites. Yeah, okay, teenagers spent over 1,200 hours on social media as of 2017, but adults aren't that far behind, clocking up to 950 hours a year on Facebook alone. This increasing reliance on social media can be a scary thought. Extreme use of social media has been linked to higher rates of cyberbullying and lower self-esteem. It's found that 60% of parents don't monitor their teenagers' of use of social media Meanwhile, 15% have reportedly been contacted by strangers, aren't getting enough sleep, or being bullied online. Social media is an asset for teens, but with any asset there are risks. So I encourage you, next time you're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or any social media site, take a second and look up.